Why is there a dead spot here? What died here? What died here, Rick? What'd you Our kill? Heart I, innocence. I have been fishing <laughs> nonstop for the last week. I have not done anything. All right. I apologize for accusing you. Um, it's just that, you know, you did talk earlier about sabotage, and I was just I'm hoping you're not sabotaging I would sabota me. I would sabotage us. us. He was talking about the Beastie Boys, all right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, too. I want to sabotage the Beastie Boys. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's true. He's had this plan for years. Yep. It's just been in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. I'm they'll never for expect it because they won't understand. That's right. Oh, that's so great. They'll think it's a mirage. <laughs> <laughs> that or a sabotage. That's right. But I'm telling oh. all you, oh, it's a sabotage. <laughs> no, man, it's a mirage. Can't see it. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Just your eyes playing tricks on you. You can't stand it, but he knows that you planned it. That's right. They can't infiltrate this water gate. <laughs> I don't know, man. They got they got secrets, national, international, and intergalactic, so. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Those intergalactic secrets. Abigail is at the arcade. She wants to beat a video game, but she can't do it. Ash, I you, you need to help her. Video you need to help her. You're gonna find somebody else to help her, and then that's the last you're seeing of her. She's gonna get her rock somewhere else. <clears throat> <laughs> what time is it? I know it's Leah's birthday. Okay, it's Leah's birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow. Gotta give a birthday present on a birthday. Junimo cart. Junimo cart. Junimo time. Jesse, what are you doing running around with pizza on your head? I'm trying to give it to you. Oh, come on, Sam. Why do you guys gotta be locked in your room? Just, just going around giving people pizzas, Jazzy, over here. Can't? Wait. No, that's fair. Did you get Mayor Lewis's shorts from Marnie's place? Uh, oh, a long time ago. Okay. I think for me they're they're still in there. No dog. They they've been uh No dog. They've been they've been uh, you, taken care of a long you've, you've, time ago. You've absconded with them? No, I give it back because I don't want to keep them. Why would I want to keep them? It's gross. Uh, you could have given them to Rick to use in his campaign. You know. That's true. That's true, Jasmine. Well, we I think his shorts out end here. up in shorts. lots of places all the time. So. Oh, we'll have another I, opportunity. My, I gotcha. my campaign, my campaign slogan will be, "My shorts are clean." Wow, there's some implicate. I like that. That's sinister. Right. Um, you should be a real life politician, Rick. I know. At least maybe like a consultant, you know? Can I be Once your campaign again, manager? Tommy was so hit me up. Can I be your campaign manager? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. We're going I love places. single player campaigns. <laughs> okay, let's see. No. Jazzy, I took your cheese and your mayonnaise. I took it. My cheese, Oops. my mayonnaise. Those are the two things I don't what like to What will I ever do without them? I'm gonna sell them. He's gonna make a sandwich. Dude, I had a cheese sandwich today. It was pretty gosh darn great. With mayonnaise? No mayonnaise. No. Gosh, why? Ugh. Who does that? <laughs> Monsters. On stars. Does Abigail put mayonnaise on her rocks? I, Rick called her a monster earlier. I'm just wondering if she puts mayonnaise on her rocks, okay? That's all. That's a fair question. Okay. Okay. I said she's the good kind of monster, but if she puts mayonnaise on her rocks, that makes her she might be the bad, bad kind, of kind of monster. That's right. You know your girl's a monster when she puts mayonnaise. On <laughs> <laughs> she's turned into a fox. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. You know your they? girl Foxworthy? might be a monster if she's putting mayonnaise on her rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> you know your woman might be a monster. If she eats rocks, and she pretends to be a human. <laughs> she eats rocks and pretends oh, to be this human. content is what I am here for. <laughs> if your woman's married to a guy oh my named God, Ash keeps going. and lives in Pelican Town, she might be a monster. <laughs> ooh, ooh. This is oddly specific. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I can't get past this pile of trash in Town Square. <laughs> There's like so much problem. space around that. <laughs> if you can't get past it, you, you might problems. be a monster. <laughs> you might be a monster. 
shit. What is happening? Everything. <laughs> can we uh, oh can we goodness. talk about the Monstars and whether yeah. or not we think Bill Murray will return for uh, Space Jam? I think he will. Not. If Bill Murray was hyping the new Ghostbusters, I think he'll return for Space Jam. I think he would, too. I think he would. Bill Murray's Maybe. that kind of guy. He is. I was if reading about um, that kind of guy. Chuck who Jones, just, like, though, would be like, nah. Chuck Jones apparently hated um, Space Jam. Why? Was really? Because he did not like the way that Bugs Bunny was represented. He said that Bugs Bunny would have mopped the floor with the Monstars in the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> That's <laughs> <kind> okay. <of laughs> true. No, you know what? That's awesome. I love yeah. that. Yeah. How dare you insult the power level of Bugs Bunny? Basically, that's right. what it came down to. He's like, yeah. come on, you guys made Bugs Bunny out to be a chump. Yeah. <laughs> Bugs Bunny's good, I, okay? He doesn't need any help. That's I right. saw I saw a drawing recently that was talking about how if Bugs Bunny had been in um, Infinity War, how he would have ended the movie in like five minutes. Um, what do you do, he like said, the, uh, the reverse psychology thing? No, so, no, the, here's what they said. What they said was... Um, they would have in the middle of the battlefield, Bugs Bunny would set up, uh, like, you know, instantly like he does. He would set up a, like, um, uh, security checkpoint, like, at a, um, at an airport. And he'd be like, I'm sorry, you need to check that. Anything metal, you got to check that here. You got you to take that off. You got to run it through the <laughs> detector or whatever like that. And Thanos would be like, what's going on? And then Bugs would be like, um, sir, there's people waiting behind you. And then like Thanos turns around and it's just a huge line of Bugs bunnies of different outfits all <laughs> waiting in line to like get on a plane and like be like, ahem. And basically embarrass Thanos into taking off the gauntlet. I was like, you know what? That's incredible. <laughs> that would work. You know, that would, you know what would also work. work is um, like a Blazing Saddle situation where he sets up a toll booth. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and he's just like, yeah, you, it's, you can't get by toll booth. You need like 10 cents to get by. Yeah. Sorry. And Thanos is just like, he's like, God damn it. Someone's got to go back and get a shitload of dimes. <laughs> uh. By the way, that is my favorite scene in any movie. Oh, really? It's just so ridiculous, the fact that they're like, oh, man, why are we going to get yep. a shitload of dimes? Mel Brooks is... Uh, Who oh, need my chicken dude. blood? Did I do that? That was not me. That was you, Jasmine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we we, we, we talked about this last blood. time. Yeah. There was a reason for it. Okay. Was it blood? Wait, you're the was one editing was? this. You should yeah. know. You're it's the been, only person who I'm has the answers yet. to these questions. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Next recording session, Jazz will be like, oh, that's one. Oh, yes. The blood. <laughs> so, to bring this full circle a bit, since we were talking about Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. um, I did not realize until the AMA that Tommy Wiseau is semi-officially part of the Marvel Universe. He is, a, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene in a Captain Marvel comic book and it's really, it's a, a, the Captain Marvel is oftentimes written in a very meta kind of way, but um, where Captain Marvel is talking to, I forget who, but she had sent somebody to pick up a movie for her to watch, and um, it's her holding a copy of clearly The Room, but it's just like, it's just like a drawing of Tommy Wiseau's face. Right, oh like like on the cover of the room, like the poster for the room, um, mm -hmm. and she's all like, "I asked for room, you know, the one with Brie Larson." Also, did you know that this guy's actually an alien and is wanted by the Guardians on seven counts of inter <laughs> like an interdimensional <laughs> crime or something like that? So anyway, That's yeah, amazing. Tommy Wiseau is apparently this is an interesting alien. because. Tommy was so, and also because Brie Larson's gonna delay Captain Marvel. And yeah, she's I think this was after room. that happened, so it was like the a subtle. Oh, okay. not so subtle. So that was the meta. Not so subtle. Okay. That was the meta okay. part. All right. Yeah. I recently that's watched Room. It's a sad movie. Yeah. It's a sad movie. Yeah. It's that's what, I don't watch movies like that anymore. Yeah. Don't don't watch the Room unless you want to be bummed out all day. No, watch the Room if you want to laugh. Oh yeah. Don't watch off. Room. Don't watch Room. The one without uh, the <laughs> in front of it. Yeah. yeah definitely watch, watch the, the Room. <laughs> No, it's not room, it's Darum. <laughs> okay. Not Darud Sandstorm, but Darum. <laughs> uh, you're so silly. There's no sandstorms in my wedding, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I gave Leah a birthday gift. Are you guys, like, uh, tying the knot yet or what? No, because I got to wait until spring before I can talk to the wizard on the beach who will sell me a marriage pendant. 
What the Ear, fuck, is this Marty? The longest winter ever. She asked for a cave really carrot. Is. I gave her a cave carrot. She's like, I will guess I'll use it. And then in the quest doesn't even finish. Are you sure it was for her? Are you sure it wasn't for someone else? Marnie's request. Marnie came by the farm and asked she could bring her cave carrot. If she could what? If you could bring a cave carrot. Hmm. Huh. I think I have to do it inside her shop and not when she's just walking around town. No, you because like when it comes to those kinds of quests, you can usually do them anywhere. Yeah, I know, um, but she was just like, yeah. I guess I'll take it. And I'm like, that's weird. That's weird. For reals, Marty? For reals, Jazzy. For reals. Is Elliot for real? For real? Track Jazzy's, Jazzy's just got access to everybody's anyway. doors. I'm actually kind of impressed. Right? I know, right? Uh, one gold bar for the wizard cowboy. Okay, <laughs> okay but for real? Like, heck yeah, cowboy. <laughs> Who was uh, it? Uh, Travis McElroy was um, tweeting about how uh, he's going for this new aesthetic and he was asking people what he looked like. And he was wearing like a cowboy shirt with bright purple hair and everybody's like, wizard mm -hmm. cowboy. And also someone just posted a picture of Rasmodius. <laughs> of Rasmodius. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, it was great. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Can can cowboys be the new thing like zombies were in video games for a while? Yes. Like yes. I mean, you don't just it do, you don't just do cowboys though, right? It's got to be westerns, right? But what I want is more space cowboys. That's what I want. That's what I'm saying. Oh like, yeah, more what, cowboy bebop, absolutely. Yeah. But like have <laughs> cowboys cowboy. start it and then like just like zombies were a thing and then zombies became like Space zombies and World War II zombies. Sure. Like zombies sure. infiltrated every other thing. Wait, wait. Space How Cowboys is basically Firefly. Can we just get Firefly back? Yeah. yeah sure. Let's just do that, please. Or Outlaw Star. You know, come on. Let's get it all going. Make an Outlaw or Star. Or Cowboy movie. Bebop. Or Cowboy Bebop. I feel like Cowboy Bebop is less Western-y than some of those it's other ones. Did it see Space yeah. Cowboy? It does yeah, say Space Cowboy. I said it. Yeah. And the Bounty Hunters are that... called Cowboys? That's true. And, and yeah, the the bounty hunter show they they are cowboys. Mm. They are yeah, they are cowboys on that show. But I mean, I, I guess you can't really do it since Cla or Spike died. Spoilers. <gasps> Jazzy, how could you? There's got to be a statute of limitations on that, huh? right? Like, cause I feel that... like I feel like in <laughs> you know you say he died, but I feel like didn't they all die at some point in the show, but then come back because it's like a weird procedural type show where like they can just make up the rules. Like, remember the so, one with, like, the weird food thing that gets on the since ship? We're, since we're talking about spoilers in that show, we recently, we watched all of that show. Okay. Um, and there's so much that I forgot about it. And one of the things that pisses me off to no end is, um, who's, who's the, I can't remember, the name of the main female character? Uh, hey. Yeah. They changed her backstory completely, um, about ten episodes in. Like, okay. you first see her in the casino, and she's got this backstory where, like, She's a hundred something years old, and she's aware of that, and she knows who she used to be. And then it goes to an episode of her whole backstory where, like, she's got amnesia; she has no idea who she is. And yeah, um, I mean, the for me at least, this is how I always interpreted the show. But you know, I I'm by no means like a huge fan of the show. I just you know I watched it; that was all right. Um, I always interpret it as the show is like more of like, here are these characters, we're going to do weird things with these characters, but there does not have to be any continuity whatsoever between right. anything. I, I, I am I mistaken? Fair. Okay. No, that's pretty spot on. Um, so like, yeah, some but, episodes she could be like that, some episodes she could not be, and it's just kind of like, yeah, it's Cowboy Bebop, just deal, bruh. Like, they're, they're, they do try to have an overarching story that I think they did a pretty good job on, mm -hmm. but... Um, yeah, there's certainly, it, as far the, as, like, the, the character details go, like, they yeah. were not... Well, and it's not like, you know, something more... Because, like, Outlaw Star is a much more um, straightforward... Each episode picks up where the last one left off, and they go, you know, right. other than, like, maybe one or two um, filler episodes, it's all pretty... One leads from the from the next, right? So mm -hmm. the, uh, that was always my thing with those both those shows, is, like, they're, like, yin and yang of, like, what you can do with that kind of thing. Yeah, man. Speaking of filler episodes, I recently uh, also completely rewatched Trigun. Um, oh yeah, Oof. there's a lot of those. <laughs> that show is about ninety percent filler episodes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like anime. There's so many animes that do that. And it drives well, me nuts. So, mm -hmm. so you know why, right? Like because a lot of they times they're being up. made. 
Yeah, they're made, yeah, exactly. They're being made contemporaneously with the with the manga. So it's like they literally have to stop making the show because they catch up to the manga and then it's like, oh, well crap. We need to do something with these characters until we've got more manga to work with. Cause like they'll they'll play the shows like year round. That's why every season's like 52 episodes or something because it's like every you know, single week well, it's, it's also to be said about not making a show 52 <laughs> episodes long per season. I, I agree with you on that one I agree. Rick. like i agree Tri trigon was not in that situation it was only like 26 episodes total or something like that <laughs> but freaking uh what, is it naruto naruto did that a whole yeah. bunch yeah, uh, they did a lot. Yeah. I, I, uh, I never watched it. I just heard about that. Yeah. You know what's well, that there's a so huge much one? Filler. Or there's two of them actually that um, are very problematic because of that reason. Um, one is uh, Full Metal Alchemist. They actually mm. had to release a whole separate series that differentiated from the original one because they basically were like, we're going to guess the ending. We don't actually yeah. know what the ending is. Yeah. So that's why Brotherhood is so different. It's because they actually use the, the manga ending. Mm -hmm. And the second one is um, Attack on Titan. The oh manga artist is like, yeah, I or the, the original storyteller like, yeah, I don't like how it, where it's going, so I'm changing it completely. And so... Okay. Yeah, in, the, in the anime, the latest season, he said, basically, it's a do-over. I didn't like the way that I left it with the uh, manga, so I'm going to do it over on the show. Mm -hmm. I have oh interesting. I have a decent amount of respect for the first season, just how different it is and stuff like that. But like, dear lord, it took so long to get the second season. I have I haven't watched the second season yet, but I just heard so much that people were like, "Oh my god, we waited years for the second season. It's only like ten episodes or something, mm -hmm. and like six or eight of those episodes are just nothing episodes." Like, I don't understand. If it's the second season, if it's what I remember, because <clears throat> I watched it when it came out, I think. Because they both released on Netflix pretty close to one another, first mm -hmm. and second season. You know, for us here in America, over in Japan, it might have been a lot longer wait. Um, and the second season definitely was a lot slower um, because, like, they spend the first three or four episodes basically doing political drama. Um, and then, then it gets back to, like, giant babies eating people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I felt like the second season was a lot more character building, though, which I didn't yeah. necessarily mind. Yeah, I, th I thought it was fine, but, like, I definitely understand the, like, when the first season is so insane, mm -hmm. then to go to anything other than, like, more insane is seems like a step back. Well, it's not, like, I, I do think there's something to be said if you're if you're building that long of a wait for it as well, that, like... I think oh, um, Game of Thrones, anyone? <laughs> no. Yeah, but they always open with like dragons and stuff, so it works out. I know. I, I feel like Dragon. I feel like Game of Thrones is one of the few examples of the shows that meets that expectation. Only because they're like they have like one of the largest budgets for a television series ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah, but I mean, you could you could say that if you're like solely into the action of uh, Game of Thrones, but I think that the story of Game of Thrones have got dumber and dumber over the seasons. The story yeah. now is, it's dumb. I don't like it. It's, it's, I think it's always been dumb. Well, it's, it's yeah. always been pretty dumb, but it's getting dumber. It's getting to the point that it's just like, they, they don't even give a shit about the story. See, I feel like the last season when they, else. when they deviated from the original books, I feel like that's when it finally started feeling like, oh, it makes a little bit more sense now. <laughs> like things yes. are a little bit more straightforward because they're not like wrapped up in tomes of nonsense. It's like, no. I'm going to go to this place and I'm going to attack these people because I don't like them. Oh, okay. I, that makes sense. I agree. I agree with that. And one of the things that I absolutely love about the show is that my favorite character and the person that I absolutely root for and cannot wait to see the scenes of is the most evil character in the whole show, Cersei. And like, she's I, pretty great. I love to watch her be evil. Like, <laughs> she, she does a good a job of it. Just as Joss she is so a terrible job. person you know. and a she does such a Dick. good job at being a monster. Um, God's sakes, having Lewis in my house is terrible, Jasmine. <laughs> I guess, like, the story's always been dumb, but, like, yeah. it's just lazy now, I guess, is my problem. Like, you know, where everyone's like, that dragon couldn't have gotten north of the wall that fast. And then, like, it seemed like they were north of the wall for, like, a day, and then they made it back to... Um, sure, sure. Yeah, like, the keep and, like... 24 hours when really they were like weeks away from it and it's just like all this really lo lazy storytelling just to push the story forward it's it's just yeah it doesn't make sense anymore to me 
there's there's stuff that doesn't make sense. But my thing is at least stuff is happening. Right. There's I, so there's so many shows that have yeah. cool concepts where the shows tell you, yeah, magic's freaking real. But then the entirety of the show is just about the political bullshit. And, yeah, but we still have like, to wait yeah. three years between seasons. And personally, I don't right, think but it's worth it. To me, it's worth it because stuff actually happens. Like. But I, to to wait years for like the leftovers where magic is real in that world and to still not get any spoilers. Well, let's be fair. We we didn't wait years for the leftovers. We waited a year. They they HBO is yeah. pretty good. Other than Game of Thrones with the releasing stuff. At this point, I'm just happy to see it finally get to the point. Like I am so yeah. invested now. Like I don't even care. 